Welcome back. John Paulus is a well-known figure in our area. As a former UW basketball and tennis coach, he's also the founder of the well-loved John Paulus Tennis Center on Madison's west side. But after this summer's flooding hit the facility hard, trapping several people inside the building that night, the tennis community is stepping up to help. Our Madeline O'Neill tells us how. You look at life a little bit differently after this. After a disaster, we often look at what's left behind. Minus the walls, minus the desks, minus the furniture, minus the carpet. It's a strange sight, not only for tennis pro Jason Paulus, All right, seven, eight. whose father started the John Paulus Tennis Center in 1979. This is kind of home. So I think it's the second home for many people. But for members, too. I feel like it is family. The Paulus family encompasses more than just people whose last name is Paulus. Susan McDonald, who's been playing at the center for nearly a decade, remembers the night of the flooding well. I was heartbroken, everyone was heartbroken, and we were afraid we were going to lose this place. Paulus says the facility was underwater, with water outside destroying 21 cars in the parking lot and trapping seven people inside the building until 2 in the morning. The force of water is beyond your imagination. It's all you, partner. Staff got the courts up and running about a week later. But the damaged lobby remains. The cleanup was six figures. That just alone. McDonald's knew there would be an outpouring of community support. It was just a matter of channeling it. That's who John Paulus is. He's had a lifetime of treating people with such respect and dignity and kindness. It's good karma coming back to him now. His job. She set up a GoFundMe page, which has received donations from across the tennis community <sighs> and from around the world. I truthfully can feel this in my heart. I really can because it has that much of an impact upon you. It's pretty special. You can go through life and not really know what kind of an impact you have. Receding waters have made that impact clear. Get through it. Get through it. Revealing a tight-knit community that was there all along. It's been very humbling, very heartfelt. Matty O'Neill reporting. John is a legend, isn't he? And so far, the GoFundMe page has raised nearly $35,000 of its $50,000 goal. The Tennis Center hopes the new lobby, the bathrooms, and locker rooms will be complete in the next few weeks. On one